Liverpool, Liverpool, stop the league! Liverpool, stop the league! Liverpool, Liverpool, stop the league! Liverpool, stop the league! Get in! Oh, it's, oh, the, yeah. it's the post-match paint from a very lively hotel tier on the Anfield Road. Got Damien with me. I've got Phil Ad with me. I'm Gareth. You, you know all this by now. We're absolutely delighted, obviously, that we beat the Manx. The first time we beat them in the league since September 2013 at home. High time we did it, and they were shit. But we were good, and yep. we're going to have a chat about all that. Yeah. Damien, start with you, mate. Um, there's always that thing with them, isn't there? The, they're United type thing, do you know what I mean? So, like, we play felt, we yep. play well first half, we get our noses ahead, then they score that goal with that mistake. Now, and, and it was a little bit in the ground, and the players, I thought, where yeah. everyone just went a bit... Oh. What, what, what is it with these Yeah, bastards? no, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Of yesteryear, that's a statement of fact, but not today. They were crap. We were out playing the cunts. Yeah. The goal was scored against the runner play. Okay. Nothing, was it? Yeah, the goalie makes a mistake. He's allowed that. The fucking two and seventeen. Ah, oh, yeah. Games is all the right. points he's saved us this season already. The fact that he's catapulted us into the Champions League with the last minute save. He spills one. But the assurance of Liverpool after that. As far as I'm concerned, this is a well-oiled tactical machine. And to be honest with you. I thought even the Man U fans accepted defeat. Oh, yeah. Quite frankly, do you know what I mean? I mean, at 1-1, one, one, you're still in the game. You're still in there. Well, they went mad over the goal, didn't they? I know so you they do. should, yeah. I was going to say, I know yeah, you do. do. Yeah, we yeah, went yeah. to Old Trafford, we'd do the same, but he went, he went mad. Well, that's, that's what I mean. And they knew it. They knew it. They yeah. were like, we've been shit and we've been gifted a goal here. Yeah, yeah. And we might, nip a, we might nip a draw. And they would have yeah. been delighted with um, that. Yeah, yeah. And of course he would have done, yeah. And, um, I mean, I fucking hate them. Yeah. But I am, I am so pleased. Oh, it's lovely. They're having to deal with the hate us more than we hate them. So go and have a nice night, lads. I mean, we know that some of them watch because we can see it in the comments. Oh, yeah. Had some like funny comments about you know poverty and that this morning. Yeah. If you want to help poverty, lads, go to Piccadilly Gardens. There's loads of homeless lads there. They all need a helping hand. Don't you worry about what goes on in Liverpool. We're all right. Um, but yeah, those boys, Everton were better than them. Oh yeah. Honestly. Yeah. That's how so, bad they are. Yeah, I tell you what, I, 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 yeah. I'm 20 years Shall old and I've grown up with United being the team. I've, I've grown up with United always being better than Liverpool, other than one or two seasons. And that today was the worst United side I've seen. Yeah. I, I think they, they're worse than Moyes. That second half, I sat there watching any ball, any long ball forward. It, it wasn't even as if it was if it was near Lukaku or was in the box. They were going out for goal kicks. Do you, know you know what? That's a great shout. What you just said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, certainly. Bearing in mind the money that they've thrown at it. Oh, yeah. It is a great shout. It was aimless, wasn't it? It wasn't like, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, they're nearly in. Oh, can we keep them out? Fucking ball was going out for the throwing. They keep it fucking ball. Yeah, yeah. The they weren't three or four like, passes strong. Like a rugby player. player. Like a rugby player. Hang on, hang on. What important. Hang on. I have hot and pint break. We know you don't kick off if we haven't got a pint. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, Relax. Yeah. Cheers, John. Here we go. Up the fucking Reds. <laughs> Cheers. Um, but yeah, anyway, we were, yeah, they were toothless. They were yeah. toothless, quite frankly. And you know, I understood they were like, you know, they want to change the formation and um, they want to sort of, like bring, get a player on Klein, for example, in the second half. And I've got to say, Klein's got to be in my top fucking three players today. Oh, yeah. Not because he was one of the match. Not because he changed the game or nothing like that. But he's ha he hasn't fucking played, has he? He hasn't no. played. And he no. came in there, and there wasn't a weakness, was he? He was competent. What a, what a, you know, so I just like to throw that out there, you know what I mean? Because if I was they, I'd be saying, he hasn't Target played for ages. Played, yeah. I'm going to get in behind him. And he didn't even try. He didn't even try. They're that shite. I mean, if we're talking about who played well for Liverpool, I, I, I think we start. But we'll, we'll, we'll come to the, we'll do a whole section on the shack. Because what a fella. Great, but let, but let's, let's, let's park him for a minute. Yeah. Let, let's do Fabinho first. Oh, yeah. I thought he was amazing. He's Man absolutely match. brilliant. Man Honestly, I, I, I won't lie, I did worry a little bit when the, when the lineups came up. And did I, you, I yeah. saw he was starting and Henderson wasn't. I thought, you know, Henderson's played in these games, these sort of big games where you really kind of need to be on it and there's, and there's no kind of time to, to, to hesitate or take an extra touch or whatever it is. Yeah. Especially with, I've, I've had this thing with Fabinho with his tackling, I've, I've always thought he's a little bit rash. He, he seems to slide in when he shouldn't really slide in. But today, whatever. he was absolutely brilliant. It's about growing into the role, isn't it? It's about growing into the role. Now, Fabinho, I think we've got kidded a little bit here with, with sorts of thoughts. He's going to sit in front of the back four. Oh, hang on a minute. Is this goal coming What's up here? Oh. We get some, you know, we're gonna move up here. I want, I want everyone to enjoy a deflection here. I enjoy it. It makes deflection. it even all the deflections oh, yeah, make yeah. it even better. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, it's like question of sports, isn't it? What happened next? <laughs> 
think, I think Paul's trying to get the well, video. He's in the room as well. There's the shot. Paul, Paul's trying to get the video pulled from YouTube by uh, filming copyrighted material there, where and that. Um, but what I'm just talking about Fabinho there, like, yeah, there it is. I'm made up that that's too deflected oh, yeah. though. Yeah, the more yeah, deflections yeah, yeah, the better. Yeah, yeah. You know, you had Mourinho cry arson in the paper about Liverpool being, you know, a lucky side and all this. They've come here and we've gone to Old Trafford for years and we've watched them on match today and all that. And we've watched them and gone, yeah. you lucky bastards. Yeah. How many late goals, how many deflected goals. Now to be fair, yeah. Well, if we're getting some yeah. luck, so to be getting some luck is right. Yeah, yeah. So to be fair to um, Mourinho, defensively he's, he's great and he block off the... People talk about the passing lanes. Mourinho's defence blocks off the shooting lanes. Yeah. And there's always some bastard there. And just when you open the, open the door, someone else is in the way. Someone else is in the way. So you have to keep going to the water. You have to keep going. The speed of the ball beats the man. And sometimes it'll take a deflection and that'll skittle you. And, and, and so yeah. we did it. Going back to Vivino talking about him as well, by the way. Uh, I wasn't worried about him, but what I really love about him is, I think we've got, we saw a talk about him playing a defensive midfield role. He's playing at least 20 yards further forward than most people expected. And he, you, you sort of watch the match, and before you know it, he's won five tackles in a row. Then he's won a header. Then he's intercepted one. He's just going and shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, th I think that's why really it's been good. so long but it, I, to see him in that position because yeah. he had to adjust from the role of being a pure defensive midfielder to being a 4-3-3 a, a defensive midfielder, essentially, where Klopp doesn't play with a natural defensive midfielder. He's no, got to be one that, that can right, yeah, move and flexible. There's no and, question about it. Of the, if you want to break the team, if you want to break the pitch into three areas and you want to be loose about it, yeah. the midfield area is the hardest area to play for us. You've got to do fucking all kinds. Well, Fabinho's certainly going into the role. He's not the first, is he? You know what I mean? He's yeah. um, an L John. He just walks in. <laughs> <laughs> nice ass, John. Come on. <laughs> So yeah, I just I just thought he was great, and I'd also I'd, I'd like to shout out Andy Robertson as well. Yeah, because, yeah. Just because it's as excellent as usual, he was competent defensively. He was constantly offering an option. He was keeping them back. It was a very important header at one one was, yeah, that he yeah. got, which proves very that he keeps his, yeah. a, 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 a boss fullback will make that one. So he gets his duties right first, and yeah. then he's a constant outlet, constant energy. What a fucking day! And then, and then, enter Shakiri. Honestly, the of love. honestly, <laughs> rename everything after. <laughs> How good was he though? He comes on. He's full of energy. He's everywhere. He's positive in his passing. He's looking for the one twos. And if he gets a couple of deflections, then it's one Liverpool of the match. Fuck it up the heads. Yeah, it's, 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 it's because we're positive. It's because he's going for yeah. the goal. Do you know? This is a this, tell you what. This is a great compliment to Klopp and a great compliment, more of a compliment to Shakiri. You look at our front three and they're fucking brilliant. And we have a certain style about us and a certain fluidity about us. We haven't got a traditional number nine. We haven't got a traditional winger on one side. We haven't got a traditional inside forward. And you're sort of looking at those three saying, well, if they're playing great, you're sort irresistible. If you don't know if one of them's missing, you've got a fucking problem. Shikiri is solving the fucking problem. It, 10 out of 10. It's the, it's the fearlessness. He comes on. Yeah. And, and no matter the what game it is, yeah, he's, yeah. he's just not asked. It, yeah. It's just the game of puts it yeah. to him. Uh, and, and he believes no, he should be there. Yeah, exactly. And he believes he's a star. And yeah. like the whole of the cops sing his name. Yeah. And, and the play is, is still unfolding. And he's doing a little wave going, I know I'm boss. Exactly. Yeah. I think I know after, I'm after goal. celebration, yeah. after every goal, if you he celebrate like that, you know you're boss. He makes a point of coming back to milk and I'm like yeah he's feeding off it we're yeah. feeding off it yeah you see him after the final whistle as well went to every single player and just basically no no I was I was straight <laughs> here basically he went to the keeper as well he went, he went to yeah. Alisson I'm like obviously we don't know what he said yeah. Alisson does fuck up one of them yeah. but it's almost like he goes up to him and so I said that I'm there <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah yeah like, that's fantastic. It's an, um, it's an acceptable arrogance of a boss player who's trying his best every game. He is absolutely working his socks off. That was the only question mark about him. He's knocking it out the ballpark every fucking game. He's trying as, he's trying as hard as we would if we were any good at footy. In, in terms of like the big pitch of them, obviously we, we've gone back to the top of the league as yeah. we were singing about at the start of the show and we no doubt will be again very soon. Yeah. Uh, that was really important, wasn't it? Because we got our noses in front. City go back ahead again. It's a little test of the metal. It's a big game. It's a game that we've traditionally struggled in. We've won it. We've gone back to the top, and we've thrown it back at them and gone go on. Then. Complete. I, I reckon after good, City, good analysis. Uh, after City lose against Chelsea, I think they're looking at it and thinking. Guardiola's looking and thinking. Look, these have got United next at home. Let, let, let's calm down. There's every chance they draw that, or they even lose yeah. that. Yeah. 
and and after this, I think I think that this is a big message. I think it. I th do you know what? Do you know what? I think that too. And the reason I think it is that uh, Man United are good spoilers. Mourinho was a great spoiler. So we deservedly yeah. go in front, and against an owner play, they get one back. And it's like, oh shit, hang on. And they get all the angles right, they block the shots, they don't move out of position, they don't give you anything for nothing, and we still go on and win. Yeah. Now that's a fucking statement. It's a big difference from the yeah, nil-nils. Yeah. In the last two seasons, we see these panic, nil -nils. They don't panic. And, and this Liverpool we team has we got so there. many different levels to get to. Yeah. So many different ways of getting goals, winning games. The, the control and the maturity we see now. I, I, I haven't seen this in the Liverpool team in my lifetime because this is one where they, they can happily get to 75 and be 1-1 against a team, knowing that if they win, they go top the league and just say, look, we, we've got a goal in us. There's, there's no need to rush. There's no need to panic. We, we've got players that can do this. Very well said. We've got, we've, got an abs we've got a back four. No matter who's in it, it's got an air of calmness just around them. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't care what people think about Lovren, Matip, the whole lot, Gomez. These, that, those four players deserve a lot of credit because they've come into a complete different back four. Yeah. They haven't played with each other. Nathaniel Klein, when's he ever played? He hasn't played the Premier League game the whole season. That's why I wasn't mentioned. That's, That's what I wanted. Like, exactly. I couldn't believe it when I seen that team sheet. That yeah. was the only one. I can understand all the other options and nuances, but I thought, fucking hell. That's a call. Exactly. Say what you're If this comes up, you look great. If it doesn't, you look shite. Well, he looks fucking great now, doesn't he? He looks fucking great. I mean, I'm sure he's destroyed and knackered now, Klein. I'm not oh, sure you know, you know what I mean, but I'll tell you what, not as much as we're going to be in the morning. <laughs> I, I, I just, when I saw him on this team sheet, I just, I, I just thought, look, you just do your job. D don't worry about doing that extra bit. Don't, don't worry about being like a Trent Alexander Arnold yeah, who, who not, plays those balls, who, who offers that extra bit more. Just do your job. Focus completely on your defensive duties and, and you know, let the rest handle itself. And vive the difference, yeah, because this is what happens, you know, uh, no one wants to mass up in. Yeah. And a couple of games later he gets injured and everyone's been moaning that he's out because yeah. Jürgen's got that, his arm around you. He's not he's not worried about what you can't do. He's going, I know what you can do and I'm going to play to that. Yeah. And that pays off. Now, you've got another manager who was at Anfield today who might throw some fucking players under the bus. He probably slags, he probably slags ah, his Ah, yeah, off. you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And yeah, it's you, Mourinho, you cunt. Yeah. <laughs> but he's the opposite, he? he's just a positive positive person yeah. and he's not, he's not going to kid you if he's not a good player he's not going to play him he's ruthless enough to fucking sack players there's, he's ruthless enough to transfer him. Not but if money. you're under his wing you're getting backed and he gets the best out of them exactly there's, there's not many managers who can who can bring in a player who hasn't played the entire season and get that sort of performance out of him yeah. I think that's completely down to the man management of Klopp the way yeah. he spoke about it that was well before the and Divock well be as well Divock in the last yeah, game last time he spoke about it before the game about the decision and he said about Milner's muscle problem and stuff like that and he just said it's fine like yeah. you know, I'm yeah. comfortable yeah. with it he's and he said, than the fans, but he, yeah. he also said if Camacho had to play would have been fine with that as yeah. well and he was on the bench yeah. you believe it because he believes it yeah. 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 that's what he yeah. said in the conference yeah. isn't he and we've seen that today. Yeah. The thing, the thing, what I wanted to say as well, and, and just get you on before we go, is the uh, the idea that if you remember when Klopp first arrived and where the side looked psychologically, then it looked easily beaten at times, and the crowd as well. You know, say say you know a goal gets scored, like you, everyone would slump, everyone would get yeah. off. Yeah. You know, you remember that Palace game where where Klopp was fuming that everyone yeah. got yeah. off. Like, the, it's been switched on its head now, hasn't it? And what, what you saw in the second half, and you saw with Shaqiri's substitution, was a desire and a hunger to win that game. Because yeah. a draw, let's be honest, a draw wouldn't have been disastrous. No, it, it would have been no one point points behind, you know, behind yeah. City. Yeah. But they went for the win. They had a hunger for the win. Yeah. They wanted the three points. They wanted to beat United. And that's how you win the league. This, 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 is what you, this is what you've seen this season. This team knows they belong at that level. Yeah. I think when you look back at 13, 14 or years like that, it's sort of like, let's ride this wave as long as we can. Whereas this year, this team knows it belongs in the top two. This, it, it, yeah. it knows it belongs uh, as the best team in the country because yeah. they beat the City last season. They've gone to the Champions League final. They, they know that they're an absolutely brilliant football team. They know yeah. that they've got, they've got a manager who believes in them so much that they can be trusted out on the pitch. This is where the truly great results. managers can make a team greater than the sum of its parts. And Jürgen's making a club as great as the sum of its parts. Because like you say, 1-1, one, one, we'll see how it goes, make sure we don't let one in. No, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. And the crowd know we can do it. And the team we're playing know we can do it. And we're calling our history. We're looking at our future. We're looking at our positivity. And we've kept loads of clean sheets in with the most attacking fucking team going in the way. It's just, it's, he's just bringing it all. He's just spreading the positivity. And it's fucking coming out in, in all the right directions, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, and, and, and so, again, 
at 75 minutes is at 1-1. Uh, yeah, we'll fucking still get these bastards. And if, we, if, it was, if, it was, if it's 90 plus five minutes in the derby, we're still going to get there. We're still going to get there. And everyone we're playing knows shit. It always ends up like this in this stadium. It always ends up like that here. And that's what he's playing to. Not just gung-ho, tactically astute, good players too, but he's involving everyone and now you're going to believe us. Yeah, I think, I think you see with the crowd as well. You know, last season, if your keeper makes that sort of mistake, what happens? The crowd gets on his back. Every time the ball is played back to him, there's groans, there's sort of panic. This, you know, Everyone it, just sort of went out. He's, oh, he's allowed Yeah, he's OK. He's allowed that. He is allowed that. I said that at the start because in the last week he saved us at least four points, maybe yeah. six. He's fucking paid 11 million quid back with that save because yeah. you're landing in the Champions League, there's your prize money. So yeah, as long as it's a one-off, RPGs, and he proves it. And it, if something bad happens to him, he carries on like a football happens. Yeah. And yeah. that is, that is yeah, proper, yeah, men, that's mental toughness. Yeah. That. It's such a hard thing to do, I yeah, think, yeah. from a manager to change the fans' mentality as much as he has done. We, all, we just needed pointing back in the right direction because yeah. we were flattened. When he, when he came to the club, he'd done so well from, and then it didn't happen. And he just needed someone to just point us back in the right direction as a club. He's and doing it, that. And here we are. Here we are, top of the league, unbeaten, having a great Christmas. We're simply having a wonderful Christmas time as the cop was singing at the end there. Oh, come on, you faithful. The Manx. Imagine watching oh. that week in, week out. Hey, I, all the best watch them. I, hope, I hope you've watched the video all the way through. I hope you're going to call me a scouse cunt. I hope you're going to say something about poverty in Liverpool because you'll just be living up to the stereotype, boys. Have a wonderful Christmas, you Manx rats. Top of the lead, boys! Yes! <laughs> Post match fights up the heads.